Good morning, folks. Last night we shared blood coming from the ice. See that tent in the bottom left? The size of this formation is even more impressive than the life under the ice creating it. Gotta check this one out from weather.com. Then we've got Fukushima. In 2011, I called this the worst man-made exacerbation of a natural disaster in the history of our planet. Since then, the information coming out has been sporadic and often suspect, but today's official word is a raise in the alert level due to the sheer volume of leaking radiation, mostly water. Good article here, linked from NOAA on oceanic salinity changes over the last decade or so, more interesting than you'd think. Observers who have seen Starwater Chapter 1 know what Titan hides beneath its surface, but can you guess why mountains on Titan have less gravity? Lastly, Phobos eclipses the sun, from the rover's perspective of course. Switching to weather, Typhoon Kong Ray, I'm waiting damage and death reports from the system as predictions shift his course to the north slightly. Got a tropical storm at Baja, already the second storm in a row sending moisture over the US drought zone, we'll need better model agreement to state a course here. You know solar maximum is disappointing when a C1 flare stands out like a flamingo at a goose gathering. All sunspots are on the incoming hemisphere. Up north, the backside double negative umbra is calm, and I'm actually more watching the growth out ahead of it. While down south appears to have a fractured leading positive umbra with struggles to mix magnetically behind it. Yellow solar wind speed wanes and orange density holding steady. This is the recipe for clean, clear geomagnetics and repair phase from our recent magnetic storm. Look at the nice curves regained electromagnetically. Earth's primary magnetic connection to the Sun shifts towards center disk with Venus hopping to the eastern limb and Mercury still sharing a connection with Mars on the backside. Geomagnetics and space weather are quiet. Next planetary geometry isn't till September and the coronal hole is still a factor but more so we remain about 50% below average from earthquakes the last few weeks and that just can't last forever. Score is 5 to 6. Last night we showed a couple backside filament eruptions, and it's a good thing these are going the opposite way because both were clocked over 2,000 kilometers per second. Then, just this morning, the massive earth-facing filament ripped away from the sun. Luckily it is mostly headed south, but we'll need updated satellites today to tell if a glancing blow is in the offing. Last but not least, if you haven't seen the Space Weather 102s, they are very helpful. The right side of NASA's Endless Spiral Explained has been re-uploaded many times across the net, and it just so happens today's spiral is a perfect test to see if you understand how that model works. Shots of our star to close, eyes open. No fear at 6.15 a.m. Eastern Time, and that's the news. Be safe, everyone.